Well, hello YouTube. Another video for you today. This one is going to be all about my little bitty tiny small arsenal. Okay. Let's start out with the smallest to the biggest. A, what is this? A 76 Pump Master BB Gun 1.77. It's a BB gun. Yes, it does have a little a Tasco. Oh, no. Nope. A Bushnell Sports View. A little. Uh, yeah. That thing. Then we go up to a classic. This is a. What do you call it? The spring action pellet gun. You put your pellet in here. Uh, I don't know if I can show it on the screen or not. But there's supposed to be a gasket right around the edge of this hole. To help, help, help hold in the air. Uh, but Or whatever it is. You know. But it is gone. And... Uh, I have looked everywhere for that gasket that goes around there. Can't find it anywhere. But she's an oldie but a goodie. It'll drop just about anything you shoot at, and it's accurate. It's a Chinese-made gun. So, from the smallest to the biggest. Then I go to... Another oldie, but goodie. This is a 22 LR. Actually, this shoots uh, 22S slash L slash LR. It's a Ward's Western Field 22. The only thing it's missing is the trigger guard. Can't find one of them either. They say that uh, uh, Mossberg uh, bought them out a long, long time ago, and you can get the trigger guards, but the ones that Mossberg sells that are supposed to be for that are way too small. And they're made of plastic, so you try to make it force fit, and it snaps. Okay. Uh, continuing on with the rifles. This is a Ward's Hercules 16 gauge shotgun. Boom, look at that barrel. <laughs> this is a single shot breakover. And it's awesome and loud. All I have for that is birdshot right now. And then we have uh, Made in Brazil. It's a 20 gauge, 3 inch chamber. This is also a breakover, single shot. I added the sling to it. And this one has a really short barrel. Compared to that 16 gauge. And this is also a very old, old gun. And then. The one that I spent so much time working on. Is the Ruger 1022. With a Tesco scope on it and a 25 round banana clip I guess that's what you call those but anyway that's uh, my pride and joy I have another Ruger 1022 that I gave to my son to shoot it's not as good looking as that one but it's still here so Anyway, down to the firearms. T-51 
two pistols. One is the Ruger SR-22. Sorry. I do not have a holster for this. It used to sit in this little leather holster. But ever since I put the, uh, what is it, Spartan Laser Max laser on it, uh, it don't fit in the case no more. So now I don't have a holster for this. But this is the Ruger SR-22. Beautiful little gun. Then, staying with the handguns, M&P 45. I need to get an Olight. Uh, I want to get one of them Olight light slash laser things to fit on this because I think that would just finish that out really well. So, Smith & Wesson, let's go ahead and switch over to the revolvers. As you can see here, I got a Smith & Wesson 38 Special Revolver. Uh, I believe it is a Model 10, but according to Smith & Wesson, with the serial number on this, it was made uh, before World War II. So, it is very, very old, and I, I need to completely strip it down and redo all the everything in there and, and make it look new again but I'm not going to replace the grips on it because those are the original grips that go with it so I'm not going to replace those and then back to the last one of the bunch I believe this is the last one a heritage Rough Rider I think it's Rough Rider yep Heritage Rough Rider 22 caliber with the long barrel. Now they have some of these for the same price, but the barrel's like that much longer. That is crazy. Yeah, if you want to turn it into a, a pistol rifle, that would be the perfect thing. But me, I like the old school. This is a single shot. It means you have to cock it every time you fire because unlike the the Smith and Wesson there you can pull the trigger and it'll fire you could cock it pull the trigger and it'll fire it's called a double action but this is all single action all the time no matter what you do so that is a collection of my pew pews as you might want to call it but uh, leave a comment down below or uh, make a video of your own talking about your collection. Uh, or just, you know, kind of tell me in the comments below what you like or what you don't. Uh, what do you have for either hunting or self-defense or just going out to the back 40 and plinking like I do. But if there ever gets a deer walking across my backyard, that thing is going to go in the freezer. I don't care who you are, where you are, why. I like some deer meat. So, y'all have a great day. God bless. Hashtag keep it country. And I'm out, y'all.